Thank you for joining the World of Airspring. This is the March 1st, 2020 edition, and I'm Mike Chase, your host. The goal of the World of Airspring is to take you through the vast portfolio of offerings that Airspring has, to introduce you to Airspring if you're not already familiar with us, and to give you a little bit of background on what we can do for you. So as your tour guide, we'll kick it off. Again, I'm Mike Chase, Senior Vice President for the Solutions Engineering Group, which is basically our, our pre-sales engineering group. So the world of Airspring is now basically split into 10 sections because it's getting quite large with about roughly about 170, almost 200 slides in the deck. And this allows you to kind of move around the presentation and zoom in on products that may interest you the most, or at the same time, just go through all of the different segments that it has to offer. Segment one here is introduction and company overview. So we'll go ahead and start on that. I'm Mike Chase, again, your host. I'm the Senior Vice President of the Solutions Engineering Group, and I've been designing solutions for enterprise companies like Wells Fargo, Broadcom, and others, um, telecom companies like Equant, which is now Orange, and others, of course, here at Airspring, and then several cloud companies as well. And I've owned VARs and cloud companies, cashed out of different companies, including Broadcom, and uh, it's just a very uh, kind of diverse background, I guess, designing data centers and different solutions all over the world for a wide wide range of types of companies and verticals and so forth. So ultimately, I'm here to serve you guys. Any questions you have, I'm easy to reach on email, mike.chasedairspring.com, seven days a week. And uh, working at a super carrier aggregator like Airspring, it really does allow us a, a wide set of carriers, solutions, uh, just many different, I call it the thousand piece digital Lego set to bring together to build the sort of things that you're looking for. And that's what makes it very exciting for me. Our team has won a lot of awards, both as a company, but all the way down to individuals and teams as well. So I think what's really exciting is some of our largest master agencies, such as Tolaris, have awarded our channel managers like Charles Lamont, uh, best national channel manager several years in a row, in fact, and that's very exciting because these are partner choice awards. Unlike so many awards that have different criteria or rather arbitrary, this is something that you guys as agents and partners actually vote on and decide who really is the best. And so congratulations to Charles for that. Many years running, I think that was the fourth year in a row. And then uh, my team, its first award in this category, best engineering team, and again, a partner's choice award as well. So we're very excited to be working with all of you. You guys really get into some amazing deals and uh, we're happy to help you design those. Now, who's Airspring? Airspring is a company that's been around for over 21 years, founded in 2001 by the Lonstein brothers, Avi Daniel and David Lonstein. We're privately held, we're debt-free, thanks to their leadership, and we continue to grow. Uh, headquarters is Van Nuys, which is the valley, it's uh, North Los Angeles, but we have staff throughout the United States, so coast to coast, California to New York to Florida, and 12 states in between. At least half of our staff is overseas, and those are people that work directly for Airspring and Airspring International Entities. Uh, and that occurs in Manila in the Philippines, where you have over 100 people there. We just took over the uh, entire floor of a 52-story building, continue to grow there, uh, Pune and other locations around the world. We are a competitive local exchange carrier in all 50 states with our own network, yet we're connected to over Dozens and dozens, uh, last count over 24, up to about 31 at different times. We continue to add regional carriers, fiber providers and others, uh, satellite providers, LTE providers, microwave providers. We pretty much do it all. So terrestrial or wireless, we're in the mix. Our super pops are located in L.A., Chicago, Dallas, and New York. And we're kind of known in the industry you know, as this kind of super carrier aggregator that forms a one-stop shop, one team, one quote, one bill, one support throat to choke. Uh, we do terminate a lot of voice, 4 billion SIP calls a month, which is over 52 billion a year. Last year, we upgraded all of our data centers. Not only proud that we upgraded them, but we had no downtime as well. So it just shows the expertise of our engineering team. Uh, and we're typically top five with most carrier uh, partners in our spend. And we have a lot of experts on staff. I'm not the only certified person, but I am a Cisco CCI and SIP school uh, certified as well. So no matter whether you're doing voice or data or a mix thereof across many you know, older new technologies, we've got people who know what they're doing. And then of course we moved into about two years ago, three years ago now, a much larger building uh, across the other side of Van Nuys and there's a picture of it there. So now in the industry, you see a lot of chaos, a lot of mergers, a lot of acquisitions. That's not us. And that's why we've been awesome since 2001. We're very stable, reliable. We've been here for decades. We're gonna be here for many decades to come and we continue to grow. Our product portfolio has grown over the years from, you know, originally centering around voice to including quite a few data products and now managed security and managed IT products. So 
Starting on the left with Cloud Voice Communications, we do Air PBX, we're doing UCAS Unified Communications, we have Polycom phones, we have a Meta Switch backend, we have call center seats, uh, reasonably priced with a robust set of features. We're not trying to be the high end, but we're not the low end either. And it's at a price that a lot of people can afford. So, you know, even if you have three guys that are answering tech support calls, think call center because it's really where you're starting. Uh, to see those, and then they grow into pretty large installations later. Sometimes you get lucky, come across a large installation at, at the get-go, but that's not the norm. Uh, SIP trunking, we continue to do, again, 4 billion plus SIP calls per month, over 52 billion a year. We do LD voice, we'll do TDM, PRI, analog. We can actually do real POTS now, so if you have high-volume faxing or alarm lines and you need an actual POTS line, yes, we can do it. Uh, in the past, we were converting you know, POTS and PRIs, that sort of thing, to SIP. We still do that. Uh, and then that goes out, but you know you can actually get a POTS line today as well. On the data side, we continue to sell a tremendous uh, volume around business class internet, with or without BGP peering. Uh, if you you know have a BGP ASN, own your own IPs, we can accommodate you. Uh, we do manage connectivity, which is internet with quality of service. So the packets aren't traversing necessarily the internet, but they are marked with QoS. And uh, those are good for voice, which is a nice kind of halfway mark between raw internet and MPLS. However, when we do MPLS, we're a multi-carrier, multi-mesh MPLS provider, meaning that we can provide you MPLS across dozens of carriers and unify it into one network with QS end-to-end. -end. We can mark and remark the packets between all those carriers and have the contractual agreements to enforce those traffic standards. SD-WAN, we continue to grow. We've won many, many awards around SD-WAN. I think we have one of the best teams in the field, which is often emulated, but never truly uh, duplicated. And so very talented individuals there rolling this out for us across uh, VeloCloud, which continues to be the number one SD-WAN solution out there, VMware, uh, SD-WAN by VeloCloud, followed by Cisco Meraki. And we're starting to introduce uh, this year in 2020 Fortinet as well, both as a security product and eventually as SD-WAN as well. So we've got those three solutions in the mix. And then we've expanded that globally with our you know, VMware SD-WAN by VeloCloud offering on a global basis and calling that our GSD or Global SD-WAN. Uh, this is where you can actually get SD-WAN deployed in countries all over the world. You can quote internet circuits using our real-time quote spring tool, which has APIs to all these different carriers. So in real time, you can see what connectivity you can get. But in hundreds of countries around the world, you can now quote internet circuits and then deploy global SD-WAN uh, boxes there uh, that rides our 10 to 100 gig network, fully redundant worldwide out of 19 uh, POP locations today on day one. Uh, we also offer WAN optimization across that network as well as the tremendous bandwidth, you know, 10 gig to 100 gig that's already there. We continue to do LT, both 4G, 4G LT Advanced 5G uh, this year. And then we have managed security offerings. So we do manage failover. Um, all the equipment that we provide across all the voice and data solutions we manage will replace if they fail, et cetera. But in addition, we do manage firewalls. We have SonicWall, Cisco Meraki, uh, Fortinet. Uh, we manage, of course, the routers and switches and other things that are part of our solutions. We offer free Air NMS network monitoring. So any circuits that you buy from us, any internet circuits that you plug into our SD-WAN, whether they're ours or not, uh, qualify for free monitoring, so make sure you ask your channel manager about that. But that's a tremendous platform. It's a multi-million dollar platform that we offer for free, <laughs> and uh, it's something you definitely want to get in on. Uh, later this year, we're also going to be offering uh, DDoS, or Distributed Denial of Service uh, Protection. Um, so if anybody's getting attacked there on the internet, which happens quite a bit, under AirSpring IPs will be protected. We'll also offer um, different packages. So if you've bought a circuit from us, you're not getting your IPs through SD-WAN, um, or you're getting them from a circuit from AirSpring, you can be protected. Or if you've got a third-party circuit that's facing the internet, um, there'll be packages for that as well. So we continue to expand our security offering. Security is always a very important underpinning, whether you're talking about voice or data, SD-WAN, internet, uh, it all comes to bear. So we continue to expand our offerings there. And again, we're a one-stop shop, single point of contact, one bill, very focused delivery. Every order gets a project coordinator. It gets a managed services engineer. Um, Pre-sales engineering here with my team is free. Um, and we give you that full lifecycle white glove support with guys that have actually designed data centers, a lot of different solutions, high-end voice solutions, et cetera, and uh, offer, you know, concierge type support and are really at your uh, beck and call seven days a week. So glad to be here. 
Um, a lot of different carriers in the mix today, dozens and dozens. It's just kind of an overview. The ones that are circled, the ones we've brought in in the last 18 months, including One Ring Networks, which does some microwave. We've got, you know, Viasat in there for satellite connections throughout the United States. Um, you know, Mexico, Puerto Rico, uh, Canada's coming soon. So a lot of different activity there. We've got APIs to all these carriers. So when you actually have your channel manager, or if you want an account and pull quotes directly yourself out of QuoteSpring, you'll see in real time, usually in under 90 seconds, what's available, what's offered at every single location here. And of course, international quoting uh, for internet worldwide. Important concept around our network is that it is the glue. It is AirSpring Unified Connectivity, meaning that you could sell um, pure MPLS, you could sell pure SD-WAN, a lot of pure play uh, products, but then tie them all together in our data centers, our super pops again, located in Los Angeles, Chicago, Dallas, New York, and tie all those networks and all those carriers and all these different de different technologies together in that unified connectivity uh, type of architecture. So very important concept. It really gives my team a lot of tools to build solutions that are unique around the requirements that you have. And I think that's very, very exciting. You know, when it comes to voice, we can encrypt it with, you know, uh, SRTP and these sort of things. We can encrypt it with, you know, IPsec VPN. We can encrypt it with SD-WAN. Uh, we can improve it and fail it over with numerous technologies. So we're not, you know, with a particular product set, we're not locked into, you know, one way of doing things. We have a lot of different things and are generally allowed to mix them together, again, to give you the best satisfaction and uh, at the price you can afford to deliver on your goals. So new carriers, new products coming out all the time. Um, on three-year contracts, our phones, we have different, you know, Polycom phones that are free. So if you do sign those three-year contracts, which is a pretty good deal, you'll get a lot of free phones, whether it's, you know, five phones or 5,000 phones. We have introduced, um, you know, 5G wireless, of course, but then uh, that's coming shortly with some plans. Not quite here yet in 2020. It's, you know, currently March, but it's coming. Uh, accession meeting, which is really Zoom. It's integrated, though, with the Meta Switch platform. So when you're looking to add people in your organization to a meeting in progress, you can see their, their real presence status. Are they on the phone? Are they not on the phone? Are they available? So it kind of adds a new dimension to it. And uh, that's been tremendous for, you know, video calls, audio calls, the ability to share content. Um, very, very great program. Very easy to use and integrated with your Outlook and other calendars. We continue to add to our SD-WAN portfolio. The latest is Fortinet. We've been, you know, rocking and rolling with Cisco Meraki. Our original, uh, really one that we hit it out of the park with was VeloCloud, and we continue with that, which is the number one product and the only one that's supported on global SD-WAN. So you can't get Meraki, you can't get Fortinet today on the global SD-WAN, but you can get VeloCloud, which uh, the official name now is, since they've been acquired by VMware, VMware SD-WAN by VeloCloud. So there you go. Uh, Multi-Cloud Connect is a very unique product. Uh, this is a lot of people like to connect to us with SD-WAN because they have multi-gigabit internet pipes and they want to get up immediately. So they'll deploy that product and then they can leverage the thousands of destinations that we have through virtual cross connects available on our Multi-Cloud Connect platform. So what that means is once you're up on SD-WAN, you've got a circuit that comes back to our data center, whether it's MPLS or Layer 2 or other different technologies. Um, you can then leverage this virtual cross connect platform and get to, for example, the eight major cloud providers. Uh, you can get to thousands of SaaS providers, hundreds of colos all over the world. So if you're trying to connect to, you know, an Equinix location or Coresight or Digital Realty Trust or Cyrus One, anywhere in the world, you can typically do that, you know, within days instead of months, trying to get a circuit out there or international private line. Um, and at much, much more affordable uh, speeds. So, you know, typically around the range of about 100 megs, about $240 a month. So it's amazing. Uh, we do POTS lines now. That's a new announcement. You know, like I said before, we're only doing um, POTS lines which are being converted to SIP. Now we can actually do real POTS lines. And of course, a technician truck roll. I believe that's around $300. Uh, some products like our UCAS include it for free. Uh, but now that's an option for you if you want to add it to other products that we don't, normally don't roll a uh, truck out for. You can, you know, get that for a fee. So a lot of changes, a lot of new products coming. More and more will be coming in 2020, like I said, with Fortinet and DDoS and many other products. We continue to innovate and that's why we continue to have large customers over 14,000 plus here in the United States and then many, many more uh, internationally as we continue to grow. We continue to win uh, multiple Stevie awards. We just won a couple last week, uh, which I haven't added to this slide. But uh, bottom line, we try to be a fun, easy to do business uh, place for all of you, including our employees, our customers, our agents. And that's really what makes it interesting around here because everybody's having fun doing what they're doing and helping you guys focus on your business and make money. And that's what it's all about. So 
Um, our CEO signs the checks, but you guys pay our bills, and we never forget that. So thank you. And thank you for everything you're selling and continue to sell with us. The point of this presentation is really to just open your eyes up to not just the things you've been selling you're familiar with, but all the things you may not have heard of yet. I always hate it when I go somewhere and they say, oh, I didn't know you guys do that, right? <laughs> so thus, the world of Airspring has come into being. Uh, we continue to have an escalation list that the buck stops with our CEO, Avi Lansing. And I can tell you that's really his real information. He probably gets, you know, one to two tickets a day, which is amazing when you've got, you know, thousands and thousands of customers. Um, we do more right than we do wrong. Uh, you know, with every carrier, things will go wrong. Technology fails. Upstream carriers dump the circuit. And if you haven't planned enough failover and redundancy in there, of course, that's going to impact you. But, you know, you can contact us. We're big enough to do the big deal, small enough to care. And so what you see at the bottom of this escalation list is a lot of Lonstein brothers. Um, these guys literally show up and work shoulder to shoulder with us every single day with the rest of the employees to lead this team and make sure that your concerns are being addressed. So if you ever get frustrated, you know, you've got me, you've got the rest of the team to reach out to, but you can go straight to the top if you feel that that's what's required. So just know that's available to you. At the end of the day, though, I'll say this. And, uh, you know, one one weekend, I, I must have been the law degree in me, uh, or I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the 30 certifications I've gotten that made me do this, but I read through some of the, you know, service level agreements or SLAs that are out there. And the conclusion is this, even if you're down 33 hours, you're spending $3,500 a month, a lot of these contracts are going to basically net you about $3.89. Um, that's really nothing. And so the moral of the story is you've got to build a better network. And until SD-WAN came around, there was no way to guarantee high availability uh, IP mobility, which is protecting your public internet IPs. You know, in the past, uh, when your circuit went down to the internet, your IPs went with it. That's no longer the case. We can deliver those over SD-WAN. And you've got carrier choice. So when you combine all this together, you can actually build a network that is absolutely rock solid and impervious and takes literally no hit when you fail over. And that's another big difference too. With some of the newer technologies, you know, in the past, yeah, you failed over, but you took a hit. And meanwhile, it was super expensive when you weren't failing over. You know, you had all this extra capacity, extra circuits, extra equipment that really sat around and did nothing. It didn't even double your capacity while it was sitting there. It was waiting to fail over. And so a lot of things have changed. Prices have come down. There's ways to do active, active technologies. When you fail over, you don't have to take a hit. No calls inbound or outbound drop. No sense of applications drop. It's a whole new world. So build a better network. Build it with Airspring as a super carrier aggregator. And you really won't have that kind of stress anymore. So that's kind of an introduction. I hope you enjoy the other nine sections of the world of Airspring. I'm your host, Mike Chase. Look forward to seeing you on some of the other sections. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.